Don't be shy. Hello. Hi. Do you ever get nervous? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I'm a drummer, too, so that's weird. Are you? Yeah. Oh, then you should be used to a little I, bit of being on stage. I know, right? Yeah. I'll get used to it. But the thing is, is that um, almost all musicians are uh, are introverts. Yeah. Especially the drummers. They hide behind their yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're just kind of sitting there doing yeah. their thing. You know, they're not really. Yeah, but I think there. ever since the guy from. Uh, Metallica? Like, no, before Metallica. Rush. Was it? Rush. Yeah. Rush. He was sick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he was he was different. He was like and then, 40 pieces well, twirling then around. Then, then you had like, so you went from Rush and then uh, the, uh, the, the deaf, the deaf, well, Travis that's why I was, yeah, was going to get guy to, with the one hand. I was going to get to, to try. Oh, wait, uh, what about um homeboy? He drums naked. Oh, yeah. From uh, uh, Chili Peppers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fleet. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Oh. He doesn't drum. He d plays yeah, the bass. bass. Yeah. Oh. Na with this, I a sock on. I, I got the naked part. Here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the chili peppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Naked, Ooh. but he wears a sock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not on That's his true. foot. This is, <laughs> <laughs> leave it at that. A sock cock? <laughs> <laughs> if you say cock, it's okay. No, it's not. Isn't it's it? Better. No. You can't? I don't I'm know. sorry. No. We're in the studio. I figured it's okay. No. No? no? All right. No. Forgive me then. It's a bad word. It's a bad word. Not the way I said it. I said it the Canadian way. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't mind him. He's Canadian. <laughs> yeah. That's Says it all. Yeah. Exactly. Says it all. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Can punishment. Yeah. Speak. Can you hear yourself? Hello. Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, yeah. Now. Are you good? I'm good. Yeah. I think. Nervous? A little bit. Like nice. Bit. As it goes on. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. good to be here. All nervous. right. Well, tell us yeah. your name. Uh, we'll tell the camera your name. All right. Uh, where's the camera? Right there. Oh. Uh, my name is Kristen. And... Uh, I'm a heroin addict, MF. So yeah, I've been uh, to like 15 treatments before. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's not my first rodeo. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've been homeless for like three years now, and uh, just had a really hard time, you know. But I keep getting back up and trying, and it's like I've lost a lot of people in my life. So it's like I'm just I feel lost, you know. But um, I've actually I got sober at uh, Howard Lodge, so I know it's connected to you guys. Yes. And it's like I. I uh, I'm on my 45th day. Nice. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. Time's flying now, you know. So it's like uh, I watched um, Carly's podcast, so I knew about this, you know. And I was mm. like, oh my god, Josh, he's like, you, you're doing a podcast in 15 minutes. So I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know. So when I walked in, I was like, that's that's cool, man. You know, it made me feel like somebody. Yeah, we we want to. Uh, um, they handpicked you guys because yeah. um, you guys are doing so well and. Um, we're just wanting to get some testimony that we can use on on our um social medias that's cool and plus, you know what I think, I, plus i think it's like important for you guys too i mean you guys were handpicked you know and i think party. that's uh something special because i know yeah in when i first was in in treatment you know any little thing that i could like latch on to that gave mm. me some type of um hope made me feel right. good about myself in some sort of way yeah was always a nice little kind of boost yeah it know? is it matters so it does it does and it and it definitely obviously you're standing out because they picked you for a reason yeah and you have 45 days and that's huge that's yeah. a that's a huge moment for you to be like proud of yourself thank you yeah yeah that means a lot to me yeah so tell us about Howard Lodge. You were at, well. We call it Hope Lodge now. We changed the name. Oh really? Yeah. It's uh. It's called Hope Lodge. That's okay. the. That's its new name. Yeah. Um. Tell us about uh Hope Lodge. Um. I did. I think it was like twenty seven, twenty eight days there. Uh. It was pretty easy because I was in a relationship there. <laughs> so me and my ex girlfriend, uh, did some time there. But um, it it was cool. It was easy. Um, a lot of great people. The staff there. I went to uh, high school with a few people that worked there. Oh wow. oh, wow. Yeah, we all were using together back then. Wow. Um, when they didn't work there, obviously. But um, yeah, they um, still talk to me today. They check on me, you know, um, really close together. And uh, they're like, dude, you're at Hope by the Sea now. I'm like, yeah, they're like, you know, congrats. Um, they're still all doing well. Um, you know, like you guys run a really tight team, you know, and like Hope by the Sea, actually, they if it wasn't for you guys, like, dude, I'd still be out on the streets. Cause when I came in here, not to change the subject about, um, hope up there. Uh, but the first week I got in here, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm not having this. Like I'm leaving, blah, blah. But I was, I was stuck in my street ways, you know, mm -hmm. cause I've been homeless for a while. So I just, I didn't know any better. You know, I'm used to running. I'm a runner. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, uh, Carly at the Anzar house and everybody, Michael, everyone, like they just were holding me down, you know, and they were like, hey, it's going to be good. Just give it time, give it time. And um, sure enough, I did. And here I am, you know, but it's like for your team that you guys have built, they definitely have experience, you know, and uh, like I said, like whatever you guys have done here, it makes it that much of a difference, you know, because I, I just I I don't know what it was, man, but it, like I gave it that time. I gave it the patience. And then it's like it just the structure you guys have built, it, it definitely made a difference, you know. Awesome. So, yeah, you, you guys are good here. Yeah. I mean, thank you so much. I mean, we uh, appreciate that. And, um, you know, I don't get to see all the day to day stuff anymore. Yeah. Um, but it's it's nice to hear that, uh, you know, what my dad and I and my mom, mm -hmm. my ex-wife mm -hmm. and Cindy, we all put this together 20. It'll be 21 years Dang. on mm -hmm. October 15th. Jeez. Just went out with a a, a, a wing and a prayer. Yeah. And, um, you know, had a lot of hope and faith. And, um, honestly, like we put, uh, we put God in charge of, uh, of, of the program and all it's really evolved over the 21 years, yeah. um, to what you see today. Um, so it's been an amazing journey to watch that. And I'm, I'm super grateful that you didn't leave. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. one of the things that I always preach all the time, either on the podcast or, um, you know, it's a, it's great for recovery, but don't leave five minutes before the miracle happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's you can take that into every part of your life, uh, even in later on, like, you know, when because a lot of times things get really tough mm -hmm. yeah. right before mm -hmm. the beauty happens. Yeah, that's true, too. Mm -hmm. You know, and like if you can always remember that when things are tough and it's and it's hard and to just sit through it and keep pushing that right on the other side of that toughness yeah, is like a beautiful thing. Yeah, definitely. Like an, you know, so if it's, if it's a job that like when you're back out in the, in the workforce, if it's a job or a position and things seem tough and you're like, fuck, I want to leave this mm -hmm. job, yeah, you know, but, uh, but maybe I'm getting passed over or that whatever it is. And then next thing you know, you're just like, no, keep pushing. Yeah. Keep pushing. Definitely. I was like, I ended up leaving early and I'm like, damn, if I would have just waited, you know, mm -hmm. just give it a little more time. Like, you know, I was like that always like out in relationships and jobs, yeah. whatever. If it didn't go my way, I'm like, fuck, peace. Yeah. I'm out. Later. Like, bye. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's, you know, something that I <clears throat> definitely had to look in the mirror and do <clears throat> all the work that you are obviously doing and, and seeing in, in treatment of kind of looking at yourself and, and kind of taking a microscope to that, which is obviously mm -hmm. very difficult and sitting in those kind of emotions and seeing those character defects. It's like, damn, yeah, having to do, do that work. But clearly, I mean, you have 45 days right now mm -hmm. and I'm looking at someone that's like super bright eyed, beautiful, and you have Thank so you. much potential that is like yearning in you. You're just your own worst enemy yeah, and definitely. you're fighting it. Yeah, And that's what I always say, because even with a little bit of time, um, like you guys can obviously be a testament to it. It's like, shit's hard. Like yeah. even I thought as soon as in my head, I was like, oh my goodness, as soon as I get like 10 years, oh my God, that's like craziness. Everything's gonna be, I'm gonna be happy and right. everything is gonna just be peaches and keen. Yeah. Um, no, Not I hit 10 years and I'm like, <laughs> this shit's still hard. I still, I have still have that voice and that other side uh trying to take me out every single day oh, yeah. you know it's a constant uh daily work mm -hmm. and it's it's definitely difficult but i wouldn't change it for the world right because i feel like in a sense now it's become my superpower because i truly do feel that addicts and alcoholics they are special they really are even though we get told you ain't shit what right. my brother likes to call me up sometimes just to let me know he's mm -hmm. like Hey, what's up? Just to let you know you ain't shit. Uh, and then bye. You know, <laughs> yeah. but it's it's one of those things where it's like if you get out of your own way and you do the work, which clearly you're doing, mm -hmm. uh, your life is going to be absolutely something that you couldn't even imagine. Right. And that's what's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the journey. Mm. Never focus on the destination. Yeah. Enjoy the journey to the destination absolutely so i mean i think it's great to set goals and stuff mm -hmm. um 
and then you know to achieve goals because that helps to build like self-confidence and self-esteem and all of that beautiful stuff but if you enjoy the journey on the way to that goal and then know when you get to that goal you're just that's just a stepping stone also mm -hmm. in whatever is next whatever you get to so so like we, one thing that we never want to do in in life and in recovery is to get to that goal I like get to 10 years and oh wow mm -hmm. you know now i'm i'm here now i've arrived at the 10 years right. no no now you're now you're in, what's absolutely. your next goal next goal is to get 15 years right you know and then after that uh, uh, a half a a quarter of a century mm. yeah I, I don't want to get a quarter of a century oh, yeah. again because I'm gonna be old by the time I get there. <laughs> like, I, like I don't, I, I don't want to get uh, that goal is like on the back burner. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, good with my with my six years. Yeah, I think it's a real testament to you coming here. You know, 15 treatment centers. That's a lot to that's find. Lot. And I'm gonna assume you found a higher power here because in turn you found um, self esteem. Yeah, I've you always know? I've always had my faith. Yeah. So that's nice. So it took uh, hope by the sea, hope lodge. Mm -hmm. Carly and a few other uh, faculty mm -hmm. or facility people. Faculty. Yeah. Faculty is still more like, student. Uh, whatever. Same whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, to help you find that self-esteem. Yeah. To help you push through that wall. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you a question uh, and, and just to share on it for uh, uh, however long, a minute, two minutes. Yeah. Um, what would you tell somebody who's struggling right now, afraid to pick up the phone, um, not necessarily to pick up the phone to call us, but just to pick up, just to offer them some hope that they can pick up the phone and they can make that call. I would definitely say uh, just keeping, like make yourself uncomfortable, you know, to be comfortable. Cause like I always stuck with that motto in rehab. Like it's just, you know, it, every time I wanted to give up, I just, or like every time I, you know, thought it was like, my end of the rope, you know, I was like, no, I'm just gonna, cause it took me a long time to get in here, you know? And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna keep using like, you know, my life's over anyway. I just want to keep giving up. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna pick up the phone one more time, you know, just, just one more call. Let's see. And I was tired, you know, like I ended up, uh, getting raped a few times out there mm -hmm. and, um, I ended up getting pregnant and it was bad, you know? So I had an abortion when I came in here and, um, uh, I was I picked up that phone one more time and sure enough uh I think her name's Taryn right yeah yeah she answered the phone and she poor thing went through hell on the phone with me but uh I apologized and everything was good so like I'm just saying like make yourself so uncomfortable to the point where it, it becomes a little more comfortable but it's always like just make sure you're you're still going to be uncomfortable you know like you said like you guys are saying like it doesn't matter how many years you have it's it's always going to be a battle you know so just just keep fighting because life's always going to be hard, but it's just a matter of like how you deal with it, mm -hmm. you know, and it's going to get a little easier, but there's always going to be something in the way, you know, so it's just, sobriety is beautiful, you know, so I, I didn't think I'd ever say that, but um, yeah, I've been through a lot in my life and just being here, like I learned how to be brave with the whole abortion and that changed me as a person, you know, and uh, just having that street life and then having to change it in here was really just like a whole entire vibe as a, as it was you know so mm -hmm. yeah it's um it's definitely a journey so i'm happy right now i wow. just want to keep that you know yeah. keep it close to me for sure <laughs> yeah awesome so, be uncomfortable be comfortable and keep being uncomfortable you know Beautiful. Mm -hmm. thank you so yeah. much yeah. Mm -hmm. thank you yeah, yeah. thanks for coming yeah. in of course for guys sure. thank you thank all you so much of course